welcome back to the Cocoa Craft YouTube channel after a million years. I'm really sorry, or maybe I'm not. I mean, I've been busy. I haven't done many videos lately. I think the last one was about the new pattern, uh, the nutmeg uh, trench and jacket. Uh, but yeah, I've been pretty busy mainly um, moving countries. We moved from London to Amsterdam uh, in April last year. So the last few months have been yeah, a huge amount of change and work and pandemic going on and lots of classes. I'm teaching lots of classes now and uh, new releases of patterns and you know, like a huge amount of things happening. So. YouTube was never really a main thing and also I was feeling a little bit frustrated due to the fact that it felt like nobody was really watching my videos so I was like what's the point but this year I want to go back and even if I don't have many people watching them hopefully the ones who you know watch the channel really you know like it and you guys I uh, you know are happy to see me again uh, so yeah, after this little presentation, I just want to say that I hope that you're all well and healthy wherever you are in the world and that you are, you know, keeping yourself busy with uh, knitting, crafting, sewing, quilting, whatever you do to, you know, make your fe yourself feel better. Um, so yeah, and I'm gonna just tell you what this video is gonna be about. Um, I'm gonna be doing, I'm not sure if you follow me on Instagram or not, but uh, this year I'm not gonna release any new patterns, but I'm gonna just uh, talk about the ones that I already have uh, on the Kokowawa shop. Uh, again, like each month I'm gonna talk about one pattern. I think two months is gonna be two patterns because I have more patterns than months in the year. Um, so yeah, every month, each month I'm gonna talk about one pattern, highlighting it and just, you know, sharing lots of inspo and uh, information and just sharing all the lovely uh, makes that you have made using that pattern and also sharing the testers versions as well again and giving out maybe some discount codes that uh, you will be able to receive through my newsletter. I'm gonna leave the link on the box so that you can subscribe if you want and I might do some giveaways as well and I might be working with some fabric shops offering you some discounts as well so yeah hopefully it will be a nice way to go back into YouTube and, and I hope to also uh, make more videos about things that I've been making like this little shawl I'm really into knitting at the moment and quilting as well I'm not making as many garments um, but uh, I have some things planned in there that I, I want to show you as well so hopefully I will be making one you know um, show and tell video uh, plus plans or something like that um, so yeah, let's just start the video now uh, talking about the coconut PJs, the pyjamas, uh, um, which is the pattern of the month of January 2022. Uh, so yeah, let's just start with that. Yay! Okay, so about the coconut PJs, uh, you can find lots of inspiration on my website on cocowawacrafts.com. You will find the link on the box uh, description and then on my social media, you will also find some uh, useful information about the pattern. And here today, I'm gonna talk about mainly the samples that I made. I'm gonna talk about the sizes that we have on this pattern. And also, I'm gonna talk about uh, fabrics you can use and techniques that are involved on this pattern. So let's start with the samples. I've got two samples made out of the two different options or versions that we have on the pattern. Obviously, you can just mix them up because that's what you do when you uh, make anything so you can go for the long sleeve version of the coconut pjs as you can see here it has long sleeves and you have the detail of the like a little gather on the um, on the cuff here as well and you also have the same technique 
on the collar so that on the neckline mainly so that means you get this like ruffle scrunchy bit at the top which looks super super cute and then uh you've got just you know a rolled hem um so this is a long version with long trousers as well we've got a slant pockets so they are not inseam you could also if you don't want this type of pockets you could also add just inseam pockets which you know is very easy to um to do um so yeah this is uh the long trouser version and this fabric i'm gonna talk about this one it's a rayon and i got it at sister mintaka which is one of my favorite uk shops and i think the design is from ruby star society which is another beautiful um fabric company they design fabrics and yeah i really love this one and i thought the colors were amazing like the pink with the orange uh, so this one is rayon and it's the long sleeve and long trouser version and then we've got the one for the summer months but of course this depends on whether you prefer to wear short sleeves and shirts all year round for you know when you're sleeping or not you prefer long every every time of the year um, so yeah this is the short version and you can see again here we've got the little a scrunchy bit on the uh, sleeves which I think looks really cute and in this case instead of uh, finishing the neckline with uh, just the um, casing with elastic we added a collar and I also did a little bit of embroidery hopefully you can see it there and I think it makes it look really cute and you also have a different type of casing this is more like a traditional uh, you know casing for elastic and you can see it's super cute and I use a linen and this one is from like so amazing another beautiful uh, UK shop this one is in Bristol and uh, Sarah is the owner Sandeep is the owner of Sister Mintaka and uh, yeah they sell beautiful fabrics so yeah just go and buy all of their fabrics because they're really really nice um, so yeah we'll leave all the links below so that you can check that and also then you've got the shorts as you can see with the same type of side slant pockets so yeah these are the two versions i think they are super cute and comfy and you can also wear any of these not only for sleeping but just you know out and about i've made a reel on my instagram i'm really proud of that reel so please go check it out i will leave the link below um so that you can see how i style it so i can, you can wear this as you know as a set but then you can wear just a top with jeans for example or with a skirt for the summer or some other shorts and you can also wear this long top with jeans again another type of trousers anytime year round and then you can just put on a cardigan or a jumper on top and you can see the little collar at the top and this one um, as well which is really cute and you have the option to add some embroidery which I think looks really nice as well so these are the two options that you have and of course you can combine them because you can make the, that same collar on the long sleeve version or you can use this one on the short sleeve so you can just you know uh, do your thing and you can also add if you want there is a possibility to add this same technique of the casing uh, that we have just done on the sleeves i've just shown you you can do that on the actual trousers as well so that could be really cute if you want to do like the um shirts with a little uh ruffle in there and elastic and also on the long uh trouser version as well so yeah these are the two versions that you have available on the pattern So now I want to talk about the uh, sizes. I have them here written down just in case. So uh, it goes from UK 6 to UK 24 and the US sizes would be 2 to 20. So um, a couple, a few years ago, I used to just do maybe, I think it was like 8 sizes or 10 sizes. I don't know. I'm not rem I don't remember right now. Uh, when I started Coco Wow, I think it was in 2016. God, that's a long time ago anyway um then i updated and added two extra sizes 
but now I have two size ranges uh, which go up to UK 36 I think it is uh, so the thing the problem is that of course I started that with the last patterns you can find that on honeycomb dress palm dress uh, you can find it on the nutmeg trends that I just released and jacket uh, you can find it on the apricot dress on top uh, but there older patterns that you know I have not been able yet to release them on the new size range because I don't do that myself I use a company because I don't have the resources like a mannequin to do that I don't have the knowledge to update my old patterns into the new size range so I need help and that is also a big money investment so I need to do it in the stages this one I hope to be able to do it in 2000 uh, 23 so next year uh, hopefully I will be able to release the coconut uh, PJs on this new size range in the meantime you can find it on the um, sizes that I just uh, told you and also this pattern has quite a lot of ease so I always recommend to check apart from the chart with the measurements the chart with the finished garment measurements uh, so you can see how much ease the pattern has because I have quite a lot of people coming and saying oh I don't know if your size range it would work for me but then they check the finished garment measurements and they were like oh yes I think I will totally fit on this one so I'm gonna give it a go um, so yeah you, I think it's worth at least till I, I, I'm I able to uh, release the new size range on the coconut pages to just check that to see if it will be suitable uh, for you as well okay so another thing that I wanted to talk about is the techniques involved in this pattern so I think it's always good when you're starting for example you're a beginner i think the cocoa patterns are quite good in general for beginners we always make tutorials i, I say we but it's just me so i'm gonna say i <laughs> i always make uh, youtube tutorials and i will leave the link for the coconut pages as well so that you can see uh follow the tutorial as well if you need it um so i think they're all pretty good for beginners regarding the clarity on the instructions I give you lots of tips and I I think that I give you like all the steps that you need to get you know to the point that you finish your garment like all the details and explanations and everything um, so I think that the coconut PJs are good for could be a good pattern for advanced beginners so those who have been making maybe a few garments already but want to learn new techniques and I always think that it's so useful to know which new things you might learn with a pattern if you're starting uh, or if you have not been really making many garments um, till date um, so I'm gonna tell you the main techniques that I think you are gonna learn on this pattern of course apart from um, the construction of a trouser without of course a fly because we are I mean I'm not gonna add a fly on these um, PJs apart from the construction itself so that might be useful if you have never made a trouser you will learn that you will also learn how to add side slant pockets these pockets are very common on lots of different types of trousers and I think that this will give you a slight idea of uh, uh, of how to move them onto maybe jeans or other type of trousers more difficult um, so then you can start thinking about the structure and everything of course as I said you can also do uh, sites in pockets if you prefer so you could just need to draft read redraft again the front piece because it got like this side part that um, is a little bit on the angle to then you know construct the pocket so you will just need to redraw that bit but I think that might be very uh, very easy to do and then you just add your uh, inseam pockets uh, maybe that if you're a little bit more advanced and you don't want to do this type of pockets and you just want to go with uh, you know the other type so as you can see this is how it looks inside with the pocket so you will learn all that and also uh, of course you will be inserting elastic but I think I mean I'm sure that you have done that before uh, for 
other uh, patterns, maybe for a skirt with an elastic waistband. I think elastic waistbands are just the best thing in the world. I mean, they're so comfy. And if you do it right, it's just the, the best type of uh, waistband for me. Um, the other techniques that I think you might find really useful and the main one that I really love for this pattern is this one. So uh, we are creating a casing here on the neckline and on the sleeves using bias binding uh, or bias tape. I love bias tape, you know, it's this little tape cut on the bias. You can create it as well, but I usually just buy it. Um, it's cut on the bias and then it's folded on itself like on one side and then meeting the other side in the middle and then it's pressed. That's how you usually buy it. So I create a channel using the bias tape. So it looks really neat and nice on the inside. You don't need to fold like in this case, uh, the fabric on itself wrong sides to create the casings or like you do with any sort of waistband. It's not that way. So instead of doing that, what we are doing is creating the actual casing using bias tape and then just stitch it and it looks really nice on the outside because you can do like a sort of top stitching decoration and then you just insert your elastic as normal and it's always a good idea if you try it on of course just to see how tight or loose you want your elastic to be and um, yeah that's how you make it look this cute and I love this technique for any anything I mean I think that you can add it to any other patterns that you might have that is they are not cocoa wow why any other pattern that you like and here you can see as well I did the same on the uh, sleeves so I use this technique but you can see all this in detail on the uh, blog that I did for this pattern with all the steps and techniques but I just wanted to explain what you could learn you know with this pattern and there is another thing that I really love uh, on this pattern and is the rolled hem so um, you can do something called baby hem which is just folding a hem you know in a tiny fashion like twice but really tiny and then just a stitch um, or you can do a roll hem and you use a roll hem foot, presser foot for that. They are really, really nice to use. It requires a little bit of practice and I've done also um, a little bit of a tutorial on the other blog, you know, about the coconut PJs, um, showing you how to do it. I think it works very well on thin fabrics, say rayon, something like that. It doesn't work at all. I, I was gonna say it that well, but at all with thick fabric. So it wouldn't work for this type of linen, for example, of this of this sample. So for a thinner fabrics, it looks so, so nice. So I'm gonna just close and see if you can see how it looks. Let me see. Yeah, you can see there how neat it is. So it's folded and rolled and then, um, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, so that's a really really nice technique um, to do. Just you know, uh, do a roll hem. So you will see on the video how you put the presser foot and then the fabric is like go through a little like loop and then it goes under and then it's stitched. And yeah, it requires practice. Uh, I remember my first tries were like. Bleh. But then, yeah, it works really nicely. So, yeah, I think those are the main techniques that you will be learning. Of course, you know, um, just stitching, uh, setting sleeves. Uh, I think, I don't remember if I've done this on flat or um, uh, a setting sleeves. I don't remember. But in any case, um, you will learn lots of things. And I think it's perfect for advanced beginners who want to just go, you know, and up their games and try new techniques like this that then you can apply to other patterns because I think that's the beauty of making things and using different sewing pattern companies and patterns that you learn, you know, one thing here, one thing there, and then you're building up your uh, techniques and um, yeah, making yourself a better seamstress. Okay, so last bit of the video today is gonna be about fabrics. So. I've written down here, just in case I forget, 
Um, so there are some fabrics that would better uh, work better for this pattern than others. Of course, you're not gonna make a denim um, PJs, but maybe you want to do a den denim just coconut top and just wear it like this. Maybe a thin denim, of course, some ray or something like that. Mm, that's an idea. Uh, but if you want them for sleeping, I all, uh, usually always recommend um, natural fibers because, you know, maybe if you sweat when you're sleeping or I think it's best if you use something that is readable and nice and, you know, uh, it makes you feel comfortable. So I would suggest if you go for cotton, quilting cotton could work well. Uh, the only thing is like, of course, quilting cotton is more stiff. It has more, it's more like a medium weight. So it might be a little bit more like a structure and not as comfy, but you can also use quilting cotton, cotton, cotton lawn would work really, really nicely. Rayon, well, this one, amazing. It's super soft and nice. So I would always recommend this one. Linen, of course, I will go for thinner linen, something that is, um, you know, doesn't have um, big thread count, so it's something more, uh, it's a little bit softer, maybe a cotton linen mix, something like that. What else do I have here? Double ghost, yeah, that one would work really, really nicely and it would be such a nice um, PJs for, um, for the summer. And crepe as well, chambray, as I've mentioned, and flannel, I think it would work okay but maybe not because flannel is thicker in general so um i would say that maybe this version is not gonna work as well because you have like the folded edge at the top and you don't want something super chunky so maybe this version you know would work better with the collar uh so yeah flannel is there in between so i'm not really sure about that one but for sleeping, you know, I think it will work really nicely with any of those uh, fabrics and also if you want to make a top or the PJs or the trousers just to go out and about because sometimes you make a PJs and you feel like, oh wow, but this fit of these trousers is really nice. I'm sure I can make it, you know, look nice for going outside and during the summer or spring or whatever and just make it in a different type of fabric or a different print so yeah just play with it because uh, yeah, i think this pattern is 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 nice for that and so many of the customers and testers i've had they have made a version just of the top just to wear during the summer months for example um so yeah that's that's also nice and i'm gonna leave lots of links below so that you can check all the information about the pattern you can check hashtags on instagram you can check everything uh, i've said about the pattern and of course i will leave the link for the pattern in case you can uh, buy it or you want to uh, or you can you know save it for the future they are on your sewing to do list um so yeah i don't know guys that's it I hope you found the video interesting. It's my first video back uh, since, I don't know, a very long time. Uh, yeah, hopefully you found this interesting. And please let me know if you want me, not, not related with my patterns, which I'm going to do a video each month for each one of the patterns, but uh, I want to do other videos. So just let me know uh, which ones would you like me to do. Um, not tutorials, maybe, because there are already so many tutorials on YouTube that I'm just like, why am I going to do another tutorial, sewing tutorial? There are too many. So all the things that you want to see from me, uh, behind the scenes of Coco Wawa, um, I don't know, maybe one day I can film when I go and do some classes or uh, maybe my makes is something that you want to see. Uh, maybe my handmade wardrobe, uh, things like that. Talk about fabrics, I don't know. Just let me know in the comments what would you like to see and I will see you hopefully very soon, if not again this month, next month for sure. So I will see you and thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video or a like. I don't even know what it is these days. <laughs> thank you for watching and take care of yourselves and I will see you very soon.